Okay, we'll use this simple two-stage low noise amplifier to illustrate the automatic EM circuit co-simulation. I will show you the hierarchy under these two blocks. Each of them has a single transistor um, circuit design. and The second stage is the same as the first. First we'll run a baseline circuit simulation just to see the circuit simulation results. And we'll turn history on here to make it easy to compare. And then what we'll do next is go to the EM setup and enable EM circuit co-simulation and generate the view for that. And what this will do is it'll take this circuit block and run an EM and run an EM simulation on this entire layout including the ground plane and all of the interconnect structures. And we'll choose that view here, the EM COSIM view for that component and run the simulation again and I'll uh, accelerate this a little bit so it runs a little bit quicker instead of waiting for the 20 seconds or so it, it takes to fully run. And now you can see the simulation results here um, including the circuit simulation results and comparing them to the momentum simulation results including all of the, um, the ground planes and all the passive structures. So let's go back and I'll walk you through what we did a little bit more slowly so you can understand what's going on beside, behind the scenes. So this is the um, EM setup dialog box and you can see we set up EM co-simulation. What this also enabled is this dialog, I'm sorry, this partitioning screen that lists all of the components that are in the layout or the schematic and you can see there's all the surface mount parts, capacitors, inductors, the transistor, resistors, as well as a single transmission line component. And what you do in this partitioning dialog box is choose the model type for the various components. So for all the surface mount parts, there's only a circuit model available. But for the transmission line, you can choose to have it be an EM model or use the circuit model since it also has a circuit model associated with it. And what what the EM, automatic EM circuit co-simulation did was automatically choose EM and that's why the EM results were included not just for that transmission line model but also for all of the other metal structures here on the layout. You can see that transmission line is, is here in the upper right. Now what's a um, little more interesting is what it's doing behind the scenes. So what happened was the automatic EM circuit co-simulation generated uh, another layout view, and you can see that here automatically. And what it did was it re removed all of the surface mount parts, and you can see them here, and replaced um, and placed in ports for the EM simulation, and automatically ran the simulation, then reinstantiated the circuit models for the EM circuit co-simulation. You can see it also took this transmission line component and converted it into a metal structure. It no longer has a transmission line model associated with it and that's included in the EM simulation results as well. So if you have more passive structures, spiral inductors, MIM capacitors, all of them would show up here in this partitioning window and you'd be able to select and choose them individually um, through this partitioning dialog box.